Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Pasty T Retro Gaming. We got a new title, Solstice. <laughs> what is this music? All right, we're gonna listen to this because it's pretty badass. It's like Dragon Force meets 8-bit music or something. Just, just y'all wait, y'all wait. It's gonna get. What is this? Timothy Folan, what were you doing in that studio? Anyways, so this game was recommended to me by a fellow YouTuber called Time Out, and it's spelt with an exclamation point and a three, so I'll go ahead and link his channel. But I have never even played this game before. So I mean if you if you look up if you look up at this buff ass wizard, that is the cover art to the game. And if that in this music isn't amazing enough. Like, can you believe this? I don't know. So we're gonna jump into it. I'm not gonna lie, I played a little bit of this already because considering I'd never played the game before and it's got this isometric movement, I was like, okay, I need to practice a little bit before I actually jump into it. So let's jump into it. All right, so open and cut scene. Ah! What is this? I'm telling you, man, Timothy Fallen, he was getting it. Morbius, release her. Alright, so basically, we are tasked with saving the princess, and... And we have to collect... Okay, so if I, if I do the menu, so that, that middle piece that's kind of like a shadow... That is a staff that we have to collect six pieces of, and we have to travel within all of these rooms in order to find the pieces. So the hats down in the bottom left are our lives. The potions, each of them do something different. The ones that are really important are this blue one. Um, it makes us invincible to the enemies that are in the room, and sometimes we need that to ride on enemies' heads in order to progress. Uh, there are four keys that we can get, and those help unlock certain areas. I'm not going to lie, in my playthrough I used a lot of save states, and uh, we're not going to really do that today. We're just going to kind of get through the game, um, you know, play for a few minutes, and just kind of give an overall impression, because this game is definitely, I don't know, like a diamond in the rough. It's a great puzzle game. So you have, you know, isometric movement, and you, have, you can jump, and B is how you manipulate, like, items that you find, or blocks, or something like that. So, as you can see, there's a... Uh, these enemies that are trying to get me those uh squares will will go away so if these dudes touch you you basically die you have uh you know these moving blocks so if you if you un or if you pause the menu you can see that we were already in the other room so we don't really need to go that way uh, so we're going to try to we're going to try to get some some stuff so this key you have to jump on these blocks boop boop and then get the magic key the artwork's pretty good in this game i mean look at that cover art look at that dude <laughs> what, what potion turns you into that guy that's what i want to know because he is swole <laughs> either way um so yeah so you can pick up that block with b if you hit b again you will um uh, you know be able to lay it down and that's how you kind of progress in some areas. So here we have some... Okay, so see, there I died. Because the, the little slime touched me. And you only have four lives at the very beginning of the game. Um, yeah, so... You can only die four times unless you find a credit. Which is kind of like a continue. Which is funny, because it reminds me of... Uh, oh, here, here's a credit right here. Oh, so there's an invisible block. I don't know why that's there, but... So there's a credit. It's like a token in, a, in an arcade game. All right, so here's one of the bigger puzzle rooms, and this one took me a little while to figure out. But So that block that I just picked up, you have to lay it on this dude's head, and then you have to ride on him in order to get to those boots in the corner that have the little wing on them. So... And then that that I just jumped off of, it's a conveyor belt, and it will push you off the edge, so super danger. All right, so we got the magic boots, so we jump a little bit higher now, and now we can go up to a two block height um, jump. I'm nervous because, like, 
I'm not gonna lie. I use a lot of safe states, and I really want to use them right now. But, but we're just gonna try to get through it. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna play this for a little bit, and um, we have to wait for these blocks to match up so we can jump between the two. All right, there we go. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. Okay. The isometric looks still kind of. I don't know. They still kind of mess me up because I don't know. Oh, okay, so like that room, you see how it's got a white outline? That means we can fall down and, or you can go up or down. There are ways of moving uh, vertically. All right, so we can't go in here yet, or um, we can't progress in there anymore. So I really don't know why. So you can kind of double jump off blocks. Um, all right, so this is tough because we have to we have to move that block down, and then we have to be able to. Okay, good. So now we can ride the vertical, like the the moving platform, all the way over. So that was good. All right, so that is a potion that you would get and it would refill uh, this, the green potion all the way. So that would be kind of a way of getting your, oh, we can't do anything in this room. Uh, so you can grab that. I don't think we're gonna be able to make this jump, but we'll try. There we go. All right, that was pretty good. Oh wait, now we're back at this room. We're running out of, of options other than some danger zone stuff. So we'll get this. So that's a green potion. And I forget what the green potion does. But so so one of the potions, like I said, the blue one will make you impervious to enemies. The, the, the purple one, I'm not exactly sure what that does. One of them destroys all of the movable items in the room, whether it be blocks or... Um, enemies one of them will make all invisible platforms visible and then one of them freezes time so and the duration for each of the potions effects last the entire room so I think in this one we have to make all the glass pieces disappear I'm not 100% sure but there's something there's something with this room with these glass pieces I don't think we can actually do it now. Yeah, we can't jump up all the way. That's okay. We can probably reset the room, maybe? I don't know. Okay. So we'll see if all the glass pieces, you know, if we break all the pieces, is that going to, I don't want to die. <laughs> Okay, so that doesn't actually do anything. Maybe that's just to show us what the glass pieces do. Alright, so have we gone up? We have gone up here. Oh, okay, that's the very beginning. So, okay, so we got this room over here. Oh, we can actually progress now that we have the boots because we can jump up two spots now. Okay. Okay, so that spike ball, if it touches you, you die. Obviously, everything that touches you, you die. Okay, little skellies. Spooky skeletons. I think they're actually called zombies. I'm not 100% sure. So we're in a different zone now, and this zone, I believe, will have a new piece of the staff that we'll have to get. Um, I don't think in my previous playthrough I got the staff... <laughs> That's, I love the scream because it doesn't seem like that would be the scream of this of this wizard that uh, is up in the corner. But I mean, you never know. Oh my goodness! Okay, so you can see how this game is hard because I apparently just want to die the same time to all these traps. <sighs> all right, we're gonna go this way. So this detonator. I don't know why it gets stuck up there. I think I have to be fast, because like I can't actually get to it now. Um, like you see how far it got pushed up there, so I don't know how to actually get it. 
but that detonator is uh, linked to a bomb that's in another room that would blow a... Yeah, see, I can't even get to it. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to get to it, because if you ride this block all the way up, it's just going to push it up more. And then it'll be, like, way out of your reach. So, but you have to jump on it. And you can't carry, like, like that block that I just picked up, I can't carry it to another room. So, I don't know if I just have to be super fast. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess I was faster, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, because you got to just be super fast. All right, so that blows up a bomb in another room, and we'll get to that room. Um... Oh, great. Yeah, we're about to we're about to rest in peace right here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have. Oh, we didn't pick up a credit. Oh, we do have one credit. Oh, but it starts us. Yeah, so the credit is basically a continue from where you pick the credit up. Yeah, so we don't even have the wing boot, so we have to go back and get that. That's okay. We'll do this puzzle again. You just drop the the block on the guy and. Okay, so if, if that happens, you just reset the room by going in and out. Not a big deal. But yeah, this game, I find it very challenging. I'm also, as you can tell, not very great at movement movement of the, the character, the enemies, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think it's pretty fun. There was a sequel on the Super Nintendo, and from the screenshots that I looked at that, it looks very similar as far as... Um, style of gameplay so we're gonna we're gonna try to go back and get that detonator again so it is recommended that if you play this game to uh, have your own map because the map that you pull up doesn't exactly have the best reach you can't uh, you can't move the map oh I didn't get it and you gotta like super fast no mistakes. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Goodness. All right. So we're gonna go try to find that. Um, man, I really don't like this. Oh, I keep. I I, I like psych myself out. All right. So we're gonna try not to die. Okay. Good. All right. I say that and then I die in the immediate next room. I want to I want to see what the bomb did. I think it's over here. Yeah. Okay. So these guys will follow you. This doesn't look fun. Ooh! I didn't think I was gonna make that. Okay. So this one. Yeah. So I can fall down here, um, and that would not be good. So I gotta. Okay, good. So not not too detrimental. Okay, so these little... I don't know, they look like bugs. They will follow you. Um, they do not... They, they like home in on you. So it's kind of spooky. Uh, dang it. Yeah, so the controls are very... They've got a good feel to them. But they also... They seem very sensitive. And because of that, like, I psych myself out. Ooh. Okay, so this... Yeah, so that one, you see that block that keeps breaking and going down? Oh, so that's it. <laughs> Man, so this game, this game's tough, I'm not gonna lie. This game's really tough. And you want to know the funny thing is? I looked up, I looked up... Goodness, I looked up the speedrun... Homeboy, homeboy, the speeds are in this game. Well, I mean, there's probably multiple speedrunners, but the one I saw, they beat it in like five minutes. And there's a 100% mode. I guess you get all the rooms. They beat that in like 12 minutes. And I'm like, come on now. We've been recording for 14 minutes, and they did all the rooms. Like, that's impressive. So I'm going to check that out, because now that I've given this game, you know, a couple hours of my time, I really want to see what the speedrun's about, you know, kind of what the ending is. Really neat game. Uh, it's a very fluid puzzle-based game. Uh, each of the rooms are unique. But, yeah, so I would say uh, thank you, Time Out, for recommending this game to me, because I've never played it before, so I enjoyed it. 
Uh, definitely not good at this game, but it's okay because I don't have to be good at every game. And as y'all can see from my other videos, I'm not good at a lot of games, so it's all good. But yeah, so that's going to do it for me, Solstice, uh, Mr. Buffass Ninja, or Wizard, whatever he is. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And, um, you know, drop a like. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if there's any other games y'all want to play. And we'll go ahead and knock them out. We'll go ahead and test them out see what's going on. Maybe they got some fire tracks in the studio. But that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I'd appreciate if you would uh, go ahead and subscribe. I try to produce a lot of uh, content. And I would enjoy if y'all went on that journey with me. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. So uh, until next video. Thanks, everybody.